Look at all the ducks. That's a lot of ducks. Okay, so it's recording. So, there's a TikTok YouTube saying thing. Like, uh, how do you say it's cold without saying it's cold? Well, it's not that cold. It's like, I think it's, oh, I see some cedar there. I see lots of cedar. It's minus two here today. We're in British Columbia, Canada, Delta. Um, I just wanted to take a quick second out of my day to uh, wish all you Curve Infusion friends and uh, family and members and supporters a happy New Year's. 2021 was a pretty good year. Um, lots of stuff went on, some good challenges. I think the uh, 2022 is going to be better. For myself, I got to, um, for chainsaw carving, I got to start carving more three-dimensional things. I don't really want to, but it's kind of how you, you got to challenge yourself and get on a, I'm stuck in a, I'm stuck in a 2D, uh, whatever, 2D thing. All I want to do is carve 2Ds because when you're looking at the piece, you're never looking at the back of the piece. So I'm like, what the hell do I, why do I need to carve a three-dimensional piece? I'm only looking at one side at a, t at a time. But it's time for me to step up my game on that. And um, you guys are all, uh, with all, without all your support and stuff, uh, there's no way I'd be um, out here doing this YouTube stuff. It's, it's kind of changed my life. I'm still Jordy. I'll always be Jordy. But it's, um, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the way I'm, I'm. What's happening is I'm able to do what I love to do. Like I found a passion. So I, I just do it. It's I. It's not really about um, numbers for me or money for me. If I didn't make enough money for, throughout my carvings in YouTube, I would go to work. As much as as much as I got the brain injury, and it it's um it's hard to explain, okay? But I've never really had a full time job. Any full time jobs I had my whole life growing up, even in school, I always quit or I just was never good at. I think it's almost like uh, authority for me. I just hate authority, kind of. But sometimes you got to live by it, or I guess there has to be rules. Yeah, it's kind of cold out here. It's minus two. It's not that bad, but it's but it's a nice day. Um, so I don't know what I was saying. You just got to push yourself. You know, you got to like. Okay, so this is what's going to happen with me for the beginning of twenty 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 two. I want to kind of take myself back to the 90s. I want to get good at skulls. So I'm going to take, let's say, um, I'm going to take, this is going to be my last YouTube video for 10 days because it's nice to take a little break too. But I'm going to be carving in those 10 days. Okay, so I'm going to practice. I know you guys, put, most of you don't want to carve skulls and stuff like that, but it's a part of me, right, from, from the 90s. And when I was a kid growing up, I've always liked skulls. So I want to practice skulls, okay? I'm not going to film every single <clears throat> time I practice, excuse me, I'm not going to film every time I practice one, but I'm going to, throughout those 10 days, I want you to guys to know, I'm going to be carving skulls like crazy, okay? We're going to, I'm going to film it. I'm not going to film carving everyone, but I'm going to film my first one, my third one, my fourth. I don't know how many I'm going to carve, but I'm going to, I'm going to show them all, and I'm going to show you guys my progress on those skulls to see if I can get better within those 10 days, okay? I've done two. Uh, they're not going to be the spirit the spirit of the skull. Okay, so let's do this. I'll carve skulls. And my very last skull that I'm going to carve, uh, Larry Dibbs, Happy New Year. So all you guys, I can't give a bunch of shout out here because I'll be here for an hour. So I mean every single one of you, Happy New Year's. And here's a shout out to you. So, but with the skulls, the very last one, me and Larry Lips, Dibs were talking, and I want to do an hourglass. You know how, like, you got the sand in the hourglass? So I want to do an hourglass and a skull and a wood spirit and incorporate it all into one piece. Well, and cottonwood bark, probably. It's, that's what I'll be carving is the cottonwood bark. I'll, I want to incorporate that, my final carving, into one piece. So I, I don't know if I'll make it all one video for show you guys my step-by-step -step carving each piece when I'm done because I don't want to give tutorials when I don't think I know how to do it 
I shouldn't even really give tutorials for wood spirits because if you look online, just uh, Google wood spirits. There's some people that do way better wood spirits than me. But it goes to show you, I don't give a shit. I, I really don't care. Now, this is not very good snowball uh, making snow. It's, it's, it's pretty powdery. So, anyways, I just wanted to wish you guys a uh, Merry Christmas. I mean, uh, frick, Happy New Year. And let's see how this school thing works out for me. This is me giving myself a personal challenge. I know the admins in the group are talking about a new challenge. I won't, it's not my challenge, but we, for you guys new to YouTube or new to this channel, we have a group on Facebook called Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original. And they're going to do a challenge where you can win some prizes and stuff like that. I'm not going to say what it is because it's not really my business to say. I'll let them announce it. And we also have another group on uh, face on uh, Facebook for your chainsaw carvers. It's called Chainsaw Carving of Fusion. Steve Kenzora is basically the main admin in that group. And, uh, well, Steve don't take no shit. So that's kind of, uh, Steve's like me. He's kind of, he kind of says it is. I have to be more, more passive, but Steve kind of just like, when it comes to chainsaw carving, um, it's dangerous, right? It's, it can be very dangerous. And um, he, if he sees something that done um, like those death wheels, somebody for the grinder, those Sir Lancelots, if he sees somebody post something about that, boy, I look out. Yeah, see, you don't take no shit, but that's okay. That's kind of what I wanted for the admin for the group because myself, because of my YouTube and stuff, I have to be a bit more passive. And I've only been doing it for like four or five years, so I'm still learning too. I'm still learning the saws and their strengths and their weaknesses and stuff like that. So, but Steve's been doing it for like 30 years. So, you know, for anybody that Steve, Steve, I'm not insulting you here by any means. I appreciate all your, your effort in the group, but if anybody takes um, assault to things Steve, Steve says, he's not doing it to be a dick. Well, maybe he is. <laughs> I wish I could do that more. Actually tell you the truth. <laughs> Cause there's some things I see in people say, I'm just like, Oh boy. Oh boy, man. But I just kind of, I just kind of uh, erase it and carry on and hopefully somebody else like Steve will take care of the problem. <laughs> but yeah, so we all got to be, we all got to be um, supportive of each other. We're all beginning wood carvers, even the pros. I don't care. The pros are still friggin' learning something every day too. So how do you really call, call yourself a pro? I don't know, whatever. I think for chainsaw carving, the way you call yourself a pro is if you go into one of those competitions and you win the intermediate, then you become pro. That's how you can officially label yourself a pro. But some people say, well, if you're selling your carvings and you're making a living on it, then you're a pro. Well, that's, it makes a good point, but whatever. So uh, there's going to be lots of Dremel carving. I got to, I got to, most of this channel is Dremel carving and Fordham carving. So I will promise I'll do a lot more of that. But this skull thing, I don't want to bore you guys. And um, I'm just going to do it on my own. But like I said, I'm going to film. I'm going to, I'm going to show each my progression to show you guys. If I, if I really put my mind to it for 10 days, can I get better? Will my 10th day carving, will that be the best? Well, maybe not the best, but you guys, come on. I'm like a fucking parrot. I know I repeat myself. I don't know if that's because I'm that's my injury or just because I'm any an idiot, but I'm not an idiot. But maybe I am. I don't know. Some of you guys might think oh, I really don't care what you think. Well, I do, but I don't. Anyways, I don't know. Do you know? So I'd like also like to uh, give a uh, two shout outs. Okay. The first shout out is for George, George Ramonovich. He passed away with the COVID. I think it was over a year now, and that uh, George was one of my first. Um, First people that uh, became a friends of mine from my YouTube channel. He passed away from the COVID. So he, George uh, meant a lot to me. He was a tough old boy. He's a, uh, hey, pal, this pal. But um, I miss George. I really do. And I'm not just saying that just because. I'm just saying I miss the guy, man. He was my friend. An online friend. It's a different world. I remember I used, used to make uh, fun of my son. I'd be like, well, what's with all your online friends? Like, what? He has real friends. He was a popular kid. He said, I don't know that. They're just my online friends. They live in Russia. They live in China. I said, that's just, that's just stupid. You don't, online friends, you don't even know who they really are. They could be somebody and then say they're not somebody. But it's not really hard. If you, if you got, like me, I got street smarts. 
it's not hard to figure out who somebody really is. I don't have a problem doing that. I can I can figure it out pretty quick. But um, but now look at me with all my online friends. You guys like the ones that I talk to regular regularly. You know who you are. And yes, I do consider you guys my friends. And if something happened to you, yes, I would be sad. So I just want to take ten seconds here for George. And everybody just hope that uh, George is looking down on us and just thinking that uh, carving fusions going really. Good. I'll tell you something about George. When when we had uh, when we had, um, I think we got like 500 members on the Facebook group, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. He was an admin. He messaged me. He's kind of like not panicking, but he's like, I don't know, Jordy. There's a lot of requests coming in and super this. I'm starting to. The group's getting a little bit big, and I don't know if I can keep up. And maybe we should. Um, Hire another, get another admin on board. And that's when we got uh, Chris, Chris, uh, I think it's Burnett, Skipper. I call him Skipper because he skips through my YouTube videos. And yeah, 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 that's what he does. I'm just kidding. But so that's when we got Skipper and that Skipper. And then um, Larry came along and uh, Viking Warrior came along. And now we got Claire. We got Cleese back, backyard there. Um, we got RJ. RJ, you're doing a good job. And, um, there's one other one. Oh, yeah, this car of Rob's there just for the hell of it, just so we can see how much uh, how much I swear and talk about hookers and stuff in the private chat for um, the admins. Hey, Rob, when are you going to bring that Corvette down? Anyways, that's, that's uh, I'm rambling here, so uh, I might just look for a piece of wood here. I don't know. I don't want to uh, try slipping on, well, not try, but I don't want to slip on these logs. But, um, yeah, there's lots of ducks out here today. I think they're going somewhere. They just stopped here for a rest. Also, about my, uh, is this thing still filming? Who knows if I'm even in the screen? Let's try a different shot. Let's try it over here. How's that? Let's turn up the scenery. Also, uh, you guys know I carved my butt, my butt off for the uh, Christmas trees, but um, and I put some money away to go traveling. But I don't know because I haven't been working. I'm not covered for a dental so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that money to travel because I, I do need to do some upgrades on my teeth. Like I got a couple teeth that have like, even since my injury 12 years ago, there's a tooth that got broken off and I never got the rest of it pulled out. And, um, I need to do some, the teeth, my teeth were the best thing I ever had. Like I'm not a, I'm not a, if, whatever. I just need to get my teeth fixed, and that makes sense. You got to take care of yourself before anything else, and that sh you guys should all think about that too. Like my latest videos are all voiceovers for Dremel Carving because I'm wearing a dust mask most of the time now, right? I never used to, but I got to get my teeth fixed. I'd just rather just get them all yanked out and just put it in the pot, put in the fake ones. Simple, take them out every night, put them in a jar, clean them, put them back in in the morning, good to go. But anyways, I got to get them fixed, and it's not. It's, you guys know dental work's not cheap. So, anyways, let's see. Uh, see what kind of woods on this beach here. Okay, I don't know why, but uh, is this thing freaking filming? I'm not gonna edit this video. I don't know why, but even when I was younger, whenever I first went outside, my fingertips would always get frozen, like they would hurt, and it, it still happens. But um, so I want to just take a quick second here. This is the big, huge shout out for, um, I've watched his videos when I first started power cart, when first started carving, I tried to use knives and stuff like that. And it didn't really work out for me. I couldn't really get it. And I switched into power carving, but, um, Gene Messer, he's, uh, I call him basically the godfather of YouTube because he's the one that first started. He's one of the very first originals that started carving on YouTube. And he's, uh, I think Rob, just Carve Rob, just Carve Rob talks about him a lot. Spence Studio and Lake talks about him a lot. I think he, Rob, just Carve Rob calls him a flat plane carver or a chip carver. I don't know if whittling is, an, is if whittling is an insulting word, so I'll just say he's a flat plane carver. But G Messenger, uh, Messer, G Messer, you guys, his YouTube channel is G Messer. I just want to let you know, um, thank you for doing what you do because without uh, flat plane carving there would be no such thing as power carving because you guys all know that before power carving like dremels and, and fordhams and stuff like that all there was is knives and chisels right so I, 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 a huge shout out for gene okay you guys go over check out his channel and um you can subscribe to him you don't have to follow him if you don't want 
It's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you any money. But Gene, I hope you have a fantastic 2022. And um, here's to more YouTube videos. And um, out of all the YouTube channels, I, I appreciate you probably the most. I've been subscribed to you for a long time. Uh, I'm not going to say that I watch all of your videos because I'm a power carver. You're a flat plane carver. But I like the little thick characters that you make. I do watch your videos. Don't get me wrong. And it was a huge, everybody, Gene messaged, Gene sent me a friend request on Facebook probably two weeks ago now, a week ago. And I accepted it. And I was just kind of blown away because I thought people like Gene just didn't have time for heavy hands in his bad language, right? But Gene, it was a super honor. Um, take care of that one lung. That's why he doesn't power carve because he's only got one lung, everybody, I believe. And um, just keep at it, Gene. Huge, the biggest, this is my biggest shout out for 2022 uh, and biggest shout out ever I will ever give, okay? It's not me kissing Gene's ass. It's just me letting Gene know that uh, how much I appreciate him and to keep doing what he does. So thanks, Gene, and uh, all the best for 22 for you. I'm not going to go beach combing today. I got enough wood, but uh, happy New Year's, everybody. This is to the best year ever, 2022, 2022. <laughs> Look at that snow there from the wind. It's pretty neat. It looks like wood grain. Oh, it's deep. Well, not that deep. Yeah, there's still lots of uh, wood to go through here. And uh, I'm not doing it today. I'm going to go home. Uh, I'm going to grab a coffee, go home and carve a skull. Hey, Ben, studio on the lake, you bird carver. What's the name of those ducks? Huh? They look like swans to me, but no, they're barking like ducks or quacking. Oh, look at them all. I know what the word was that I was looking for earlier. Migrating somewhere. They're just stopping here. and Maybe this it's uh, closer. It's warm water in here in a little bay. So maybe they're just kind of taking a little break. So this is all you do when you, you, you kind of feel stuck at home. Just get out of the friggin' house. I don't want to swear because I don't want to put a dollar on the list yet. Tick on the list.